I'm working on this John Deere 110 garden tractor. This is part 19 of a multi-part series. In the last video, I got the grill straightened up. Cleaned up those vertical hood supports. And mounted the air cleaner with the new air filter in it. Now I think I'm ready to put the hood on. This is a fiberglass hood. It's in pretty good shape. There's some green paint on the decal, so it's probably been repainted. This rivet's starting to break through. It's had a lot of force on it. There's a little corner damage there. I don't know if the headlights are original or not. I haven't done any research on that. On the underside, this piece has always been loose since I've had it. I don't think it's supposed to be. There's a big lock washer on one side. But there's not one on the other side. There's green paint on those headlight brackets. Maybe it's a John Deere part. There's quite a bit of dirt in this front section. So there's going to be some dirt under these metal pieces. I'm going to take those off so I can clean everything. That bolt's turning. I'm going to put this spring pin through the hole and see if I can hold it. It's had some fiberglass work done on that front edge. I'm going to use some carburetor cleaner to remove the oily stuff. On top, I think it's mostly dust and dirt, so I'm going to use soapy water. My squirt bottle quit working. Well, good thing there wasn't much in there. This headlight moves around easily. It looks like it's made in two pieces. The nut's pretty tight. Yep, that loosened it up. So I should be able to put this where I want and tighten it up. It takes more force than it should to tighten it. Don't want to break the hood. I'm going to support it with a wrench. That's pretty good. 
but those need taken apart and cleaned so you can adjust them without using so much force. That's a special washer there, and there's only one of them. There's some crud in these threads. Since they're not carriage bolts, they can turn when you don't want them to. I want these nuts to spin on easily. I'm going to run a tap through the nuts. Now this one screws on easily most of the way. There's three or four threads exposed when it gets tight. This one screws all the way to the head. But I had to push it through the dirt. That tightens up in the die also. I need a way to hold the bolt without scratching up the head. I can clamp it against a piece of wood as long as I have enough power to move the die all the way with my fingers. That fixed it. I'll run the die over the other one. I was able to do that one by hand. Now both nuts bottom out easily on the bolts. This side didn't have any lock washer. And I couldn't find one around here like that. But I think I'll get a regular washer so there's not so many threads showing. There's a lot of movement in that. Well, yeah. Look how big the hole is after being run loose for a while. I think I'll put the washer on the outside for more support on the fiberglass. But if I use two washers, there's not really enough threads. I think the outside washer is more important to protect the fiberglass on this one. I'm going to try to float it in towards the center of the oversized hole.
That washer makes the head look bigger. But it's not too distracting. Here's the piece for this side. It looks like this bent corner means it would fit like this. But when I took it off, it was at an angle like this. It seems like it should go like that. How's that fit on the tractor? This is the pivot hole. And it fits right against there like that. That makes sense. So that's the way it's going. I have to try to keep the bolt from turning again. Here's the wiring harness that was on it. There's a flat blade terminal that connects to this one. The wire that comes out of this headlight comes across to this side. So that's this little round connector. And it plugs into one of these two holes. There's another hole there where the other light's supposed to plug into. But I don't have that wire. It should be coming out of this hole here. That should have a wire with a round plug to go into this other hole. I don't have a round connector like that around here. I'm going to leave the wiring harness off for now. I'll have to get a connector and then get inside that headlight to connect a wire to it. I've never done this before. It looks like I can hook one side and then flex the other side to get it in the hole. That looks okay so far. Hey, I didn't notice that before. There's a hood stop on this side too. It's built into this heat shield. Now I want both sides to touch at the same time. This left side's not touching yet. This side's most likely in the right place with that locating tab on the corner. The right side could be off due to that oversized hole in the fiberglass. So I'm going to pull the hood forward and let this side move until both sides touch. There, that feels pretty good. Now I need to see if the latch is in the right place. That's pretty tight. I wouldn't want it to be any tighter. You can see from this gap here that the hood should be farther forward. So I need to tilt these hood supports forward until the hood moves about a half an inch. Another thing I'm looking at, when the hood's closed, I can move it up and down like this. Part of the problem is this rivet is pulled in right here. There was enough force pulling down on this metal tab. The metal's bent down. 
and the rivet has been pulled through the fiberglass. I would have to take the rivets out to repair everything properly. I'm going to see if I can just bend the metal tab back some. I can't put pressure on the fiberglass, so I have to reach around this raised up section. Well, I must have moved it some. It didn't feel like it moved when I was doing it. I'm going to go ahead and move the hood forward. I'm going to try to do it without removing the hood. I need to remove this grill to get to the nuts. First, I want to loosen the bolts in the back. They got to be loose enough the lock washer is loose too. I'll start with this side. Loosen it up slightly. And move the top forward about a half inch. On the other side, I'll move it forward until it's parallel with the first one. That moved it closer. Let's see if it'll close. That looks pretty good. Pretty small gap at the bottom. And about the same on this side. It feels like it's resting on top of the dash like it should be. I'm going to leave it there. There's still a lot of movement there. It closes easier than it did the first time. I'm going to try to bend this latch out a little bit. Okay, I don't want to bend it anymore. This is spring steel. And it's bending mostly at that rivet down there. I don't want to break it. I'm going to leave it like that. Now I need to tighten up these bolts and put the grill back in. Well, that's as far as I'm going this time, and here's what it looks like. The back part of the hood fits the dash pretty well. And the front part of the hood's in good shape. Except the headlights need a little work.
right, that's it.